Welcome to today's video. With summers approaching us fast, today we are going to create a serum for oily acne prone skin. Before I take you through the ingredients, I'd like to tell you something about this serum. This is a lightweight serum in which we'll be using two star ingredients. Our star ingredients are zinc PCA and cutie biome which is an extract that has black pepper, manuka and magnolia bark extract. Now these two in combination together will not only reduce the sebum production but also ensure that you do not get recurrent acne or the acne that you get they disappear really really fast. So let's get started and I'll take you through the phase A ingredients first. Okay, so let's get started with the phase A ingredients. Now we are going to create a gel first and then put in the phase B and the phase C ingredients into it. So here is the water which we have pre-boiled and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my zinc PCA which is soluble in water. I'm going to mix this and keep it away because this will be added towards the end but it has to be mixed into the water first. So let's get started with that. So I've added a little water and I have mixed my zinc PCA. You can see it's dissolved and I'm going to keep this aside. Uh, now I'll take you through the phase B, phase A ingredients. Okay, let's get started with the phase A ingredients. The first ingredient is water. Then I have some potassium sorbate here. Potassium sorbate is a preservative booster. So I'm going to add that. And we have some sodium gluconate. Sodium gluconate is our chelator. So I'm going to add it into the water and it gets mixed. Now the next two things that I'll be mixing into my water are Sepimax and Solagum. These are our gelling agents. They will create the nice gel structure into which uh, the rest of our ingredients will go. So as you can see the sodium gluconate is completely dissolved. Now I'm going to add my potassium sorbate, my preservative booster. And this takes a while to dissolve, but it dissolves completely in the water. Mm. And now, after this, I'll be adding my gums. But uh, one tip before you start adding the gums, uh, Sepimax takes a while to dissolve. So ideally, keep your serum till the next day so that Sepimax builds up in viscosity till the next day. Uh, so let's get started. I'll be using a blender to blend in Sepimax. So I'm adding Sola gum first into my mixture and blending it and then I'll add Sepimax. The foam will completely settle down in a while so don't worry about that. Mix and blend in your ingredients really well. So now I'm putting in Sepi Max and I'll give it a nice mix. As you can notice, there is a gel structure which is forming. Can you see that? Sepi Max takes a little while, so keep blending it well. Okay, so we are done with this. We'll leave this for a while and bring you back for phase B ingredients. We're getting started with the phase B now. In phase B, we have some beautiful ingredients. We have propanediol, which is a humectant. Now, propanediol is not only a humectant, it also locks in moisture, prevents transepidermal water loss. And hence, that's the first ingredient that I'm putting in my phase A. Once I put in these, I'll be blending the phase A thoroughly to ensure that they are well mixed. Our second ingredient is hyaluronic acid. I have made a stock of the hyaluronic acid. You will find uh, another post in which you can find out how to do this. So that will be linked in below in the description box. Now what I had done is I had mixed the potassium sorbate in the phase A before the phase A. So that, that is our preservation booster. Now that's also going in. Now 
and here I have some rosehip oil. So I'm adding that rosehip seed oil. Rosehip seed oil is a wonderful oil if you have oily skin, acne prone skin, because what rosehip does is it moisturizes the skin, but at the same time, it prevents acne marks, acne scars, and it gives your skin a beautiful brightening effect. So we are using rosehip seed oil for this purpose. And the fourth ingredient that I'm going to put into our um, phase B is our manuka bark extract which I have already pre-dissolved in oil. So let me add that and then we'll blend all of these together thoroughly. So here is our manuka bark extract which I am putting now. Since we are making very little serum, so we are using small quantities of extracts. So it's it's creating a bit of a challenge to pour them thoroughly out. Let's mix these. Do you see how beautiful and yellow this looks because of the rosehip seed oil? But it's not just the color, it's also the benefits of rosehip that we are looking at so you can see all our ingredients are fully blended into the phase a we'll leave this and bring you back for phase c ingredients in a bit okay now for phase c ingredients i have just four things in the phase c ingredients remember we had mixed our zinc pca in water we had dissolved it that is the first ingredient that i'll be putting into our serum and giving it a nice blend and then add the rest of the ingredients. So this is fully blended. The other three ingredients that are there in phase C are the first one of course is our orange extract. I have taken orange extract because of its brightening properties. This is a water soluble extract and it will give your skin a nice bright glow. Acne prone skins usually need a little bit of brightening and this will also help reduce the marks on your skin. So it's a wonderful extract to use. And here is my preservative which I pre weighed. So in goes the preservative. And the next thing that we are going to use is our fragrance. So I've taken a little bit of Sakura fragrance today. I'll be using that. If you don't want a fragrance, you don't have to use it. It's a personal choice. Um, I'm using very little fragrance just to give it a mild, nice scent. And there, you are done with this. Now I'll bring you back, once this is done, I will bring you back with the pH testing to show you what the pH is. So there, you just made a beautiful anti-acne serum. Okay, so we are done with this beautiful anti-acne serum as you can see. We'll be packaging it in this glass bottle which is available at the website. Uh, now I'll just take you and show you the pH. Can you see the pH here? Okay. The pH is a perfect 6. Um, to check the pH, you have to make a 10% solution, which means I take 1 ml of my serum and 9 ml of the water, mix it and then check the pH. In case your pH is higher or lower, you can adjust it using citric acid or any OH. So happy formulating. Uh, a kit of this, the ingredients for this serum will be available at our website. In case you want to make it, you are welcome to buy it from us. Happy formulating. Until next time, do leave us comments so that we can help you further. Bye.